Okay. Today we will go ahead and do a quick application of inequalities. So you are given that A is greater than or equal to 0 and B is also greater than or equal to 0. You need to go ahead and you need to prove that root AB is less than or equal to A plus B by 2. This is what needs to be proved. Right? Let's try to see how we will be doing it. So we know that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab, right? What we will go ahead and we will do is we will divide by 4 on both sides. So when we will be dividing by 4 on both sides, I will get a plus b by 2 whole square. I can take, so 4 is nothing but 2 square, right? So I can just take square out and I can say a plus b by 2 whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab divided by 4. Right? Now what I can do is I can subtract ab from both sides. So a plus b whole square by 2. I can just subtract AB from both sides. So minus AB is equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB by 4 minus B. I have gone ahead and I, I have subtracted AB from both sides. So this will give me A plus B whole square minus AB is equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB minus 4AB by I have just multiplied this denominator. I have taken common. Right. So now when I just go ahead and I do this, I will get a plus b by 2 whole square minus a b is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b by 4. Right. If I look into the right hand side, isn't this the formula of a minus b whole square? So I will get this as a plus b by 2 whole square minus a b is equal to a minus b whole square by 2 square. I have written 4 as 2 square. So if I just solve this, I will get a plus b by 2 whole square minus a b is equal to a minus b by 2 whole square. Now, there is a property of squaring the numbers that whenever you square any number, it will always be greater than or equal to 0. This is a property known to us. Square any negative number, you will get positive. Square any positive number, you will get positive. Square 0, you will get 0. So whenever you will square any number, whatever, whether it is negative or positive, whenever you will square anything, it has to be greater than or equal to 0. So we know that since a minus b by 2 whole square, because I am squaring this up, has to be greater than or equal to 0. And this is RHS. And RHS is equal to LHS. So if this is greater than or equal to 0 and this is equal to this, so we will go ahead and we will get that a plus b by 2 whole square minus AB is also greater than equal to 0. Is also greater than equal to 0. Is this clear? So I, I am saying that this and this are equal. And this is greater than equal to 0. So this will also be greater than equal to 0. Okay. Okay. So from here, I will be getting A plus B by 2 whole square greater than equal to AB. Now I will just take under root everywhere. So I will get a plus b by 2 greater than or equal to under root a b and proved. Okay. Now can you tell me what is the implication of this? What does this imply? Look, this is basically arithmetic mean of a and b. If I ask you find mean of a and b, you will do a plus b by 2. And this is basically geometric mean of A and B. So indirectly, we have proved 
that arithmetic mean is always greater than equal to geometric mean. This is the proof of this using the applications of inequality. Okay, beta. Thank you.